that. Back for another one. This one's gonna be on like beams and subfloors. I've really put off doing this because it's fucking, I don't know, I feel like it'll be a difficult video to make. Um, then we're gonna have a crack at it. See what we can make of it. There's a decent video in there. Hopefully there is. Um, yeah, we'll just get stuck in and fucking see how we go and then hopefully off this, if you've got questions, I can make a video answering your questions and I get more content and you get to actually answers to shit you want to know. So, yeah, let's go. That's our layout. So it goes that way. Um, start with these two here. So see you got uh, 360 by 90 by 2 by 4.2. That will be... Ah. Oh, I can't tell if they've gone 290 mil beams. It'll be 360 by uh, 42 and then two of them at 4.2. And then so that will join up there on that steel cleat and run to that wall. And then the other one will run out the other side and we'll leave that long. And this one here will run from like that imaginary beam back that way. Should be a pretty chill job. like midway through laying out all my beams. Um, I'll try and lay them out all before I actually cut one. Um, on the off chance I fuck up and cut the wrong one too short or something like that. So get them all laid out where they're gonna go and then that way it's like process of elimination for finding beams that you may or may not know if they're there for it. They'll often send out different lengths and shit like that. So if you've got a, a, a 4.8, they might send a 5.4. Um, so you got to make sure that you don't actually need that 5.4 somewhere else. On this one as well, they've specced uh, double 45 beams everywhere and they've made it uh, double 60 mil beams. That's what they've delivered. Um, with the shortages, that's what they'll have. Well, anyway, that was the end of compass. Um, they've given us all 62 mil beams instead of 45, so everything's got to push over like 120 mil. Um, so and yeah, just got to be extra vigilant that the external measurements of the building don't change. Um, and everything's heavier as well. I think the other two are doing the roof and I don't want to take them off that. So yeah, I've cracked these by myself. Should be alright. Yeah, that's everything laid out. We're going to eat the frog on this one and just get these two big cunts up first. Um, and then after that it's pretty chill. Runs laid out, two over there, four over there. A couple out the front, they're like intermittent beams, I'll just get in the way. This one to go up here. Those ones are the hard ones. And when you do, um, like this, you want it to finish flush with the top of the plate, which is the bottom of the steel. So you're going to do all your checkouts. I just measure from the bottom, so 15mm flange, then I'll give the top like 20mm, so I'll go 230 and I just write it in the steel. So 15, 230. You just got to remember that it's a 15mm flange.
Lunch is here though, so that's good. Here's the timing though. You fucking saw batteries went flat right as lunch showed up. It's impeccable. It's gonna be a good day. Have a look at him. First time he's been up all day. What are you doing? What is it? Beauty house. See, after lunch, I should be good to go. So, lunch was extended as fuck. And I also forgot to like record the last little bit. Anyway, we're running very poorly today. Um, that's my checkout done. Um, the fuck? Yeah, that's my checkout done. Just cut the length, so now I'll sit that end up, jump on a ladder, lift that end up, and carry it over. Just repeat, we don't have to do that shitty fucking 30 mil bit because um, we've already allowed for it in that.
Alright, so that's the one we put in. Come back through, bat and screw all that up. Um, that's one external of the building. We need some bolts, the builder hasn't provided them. I mean, next one's just this one here, these two. They'll work straight up, small beams, lightweight. Not gonna have to bust my cunt on those. Um, and then it's just this run here. They're bigger beams, but they won't be too bad. And so you see that double LVL stud like just there. That lines up with that cleat up there, uh, there, and the other LVL. So I'll punch out one through. And there's one that comes off this cleat here. But they're all pretty chill. Not too worried about those. If I can get the beams up today, that's a good result. Because I kind of wanted to go home at like fucking just after lunch. <laughs> Anyway, toughed it out. It is Good Friday, just in case you're wondering too. So it feels an amazing amount like a Saturday. Sticking it out.
Change of plan. Earlier on, I was saying how the uh, beams had been up sized. You move it over 30 mil and change it, and that's all good. Um, 
problem was they didn't change that in their posi. So now that 30 mil on each side makes your posi 60 mil too long, um, and you can't modify posies legally, not at all, but realistically not that much. Um, so they're going to have to get more beams for us. Anyway, I'll try and put a video together out of this. It was a bit of a slow day, but I was also trying to film. So, anyway, hope you got something out of it. I think it might work out alright, because I've put like, I can make this like a 20 minute video and make it pretty detailed. So I have like one video on beams, one video on posies. I think, rather than try and combine the two and sort of rush over a lot of parts. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Ready to go home, ball bag? Yep. Oh boy. Hey. Oh boy.